Hey guys, Mike Avenaim here, and we are at my drum studio in LA. And today we're gonna be talking about the Wave Distro UBK Fatso. Now, um, it might look familiar to you guys. Uh, a lot of people think it's the same as the Empirical Labs Fatso, but it's not. The Empirical Labs Fatso is a tape simulator. So it's doing all sorts of things to the signal to make it feel like analog tape. The UBK Fatso is different. It's actually a modded version that is seven compressors in one unit. It's a dual mono unit. So if you want, you can separate them and run different things through each side, or you can link them and run them together. It's really cool having seven compressors in one space. Uh, so the way that they've laid this out, it's in four stages. It's a saturation stage, a FET compression stage, a warmth stage, and a transformer stage. And then the seven compressors are splat, smooth, glue, spank, then you can combine them together. Then you have splat and spank, and you also have glue and spank. And then you also have uh, trafo, which is a coloration circuit. So what each one does, um, they kind of emulate, you know, compressors that we're really familiar with. The first one, like it says in the manual, is his take on the famous three-letter consoles. The smooth one is a brick wall limiter, essentially. Uh, the glue one does what it says. We all know what glue does. The spank, he said he didn't modify at all. So that's emulating um, the old talkback compressors. So the Phil Collins compressor. Um, the splat and spank circuits together are emulating like a squishy Abbey Road vibe. And the glue and spank together are the all buttons mode uh, from the 1176. And then uh, the trafo circuit is doing uh, a couple things like adding high-end sparkle and mid-density and, and low to uh, the whole circuit. And obviously you can combine and change and do all kinds of things with it. Um, another really cool feature about it is that it has sidechain inserts on the back which separate the threshold for the compression. If you don't have that plugged in, the saturation and the compression are hitting at the same time when you control the knobs. If you wanna separate them, you have to plug in um, a guitar pedal or something that has uh, essentially a volume up and down. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is uh, play you some drums um, and then I'm going to run them all through the unit. Uh, first up, I'll do like a full drum mix um, and show you what it's doing and then I'll separate the elements uh, so you can see how it affects everything. Uh, let's get into it.
Okay, thanks so much for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed listening to all those examples. And if you need any more information, go check out the websites and uh, get compressing.